From Chuck Liddell looking like a shadow of his old self, to Misha Tate exposing herself as a one-game wonder, returning from retirement has been a little embarrassing for most UFC fighters. Stay tuned as I count down some of the UFC fighters that should have stayed retired. I'm going to start off strong with Chuck Liddell. Sometimes it's better to call it quits when you know things aren't going your way. And boy, did former light heavyweight champ Chuck Liddell have that opportunity. Back in the day, Chuck the Iceman was the ultimate UFC star. In 2005, he achieved his lifelong dream of becoming the light heavyweight champ by defeating Randy Couture. That was his ticket to glory. Unfortunately, every good thing must come to an end. In 2007, he faced off against Rampage Jackson and got knocked out. It was like the universe flipped a switch for Chuck. In his next four fights, he only managed to win one, and to make matters worse, he got knocked out cold in two of them. After a little while, he retired. Just a year later, Chuck Liddell couldn't resist the temptation to make a comeback. He was scheduled to fight bitter rival Tito Ortiz, but after Tito's sudden injury, Rich Franklin became Chuck's opponent. The stage was set for a dramatic comeback, or so we thought. The fight didn't go Chuck's way at all. Rich landed a brutal hook that sent Chuck back to the retirement center. Ouch, talk about a harsh reality check. To make things worse, Chuck returned from retirement again. This time he fought Tito and he got knocked out again. Man, it's like deja vu. Chuck hasn't stepped into the octagon since then. And honestly, it's for the best. Chuck's not alone when it comes to embarrassing attempts at reviving his career. In the same boat, we have Carlos Condit. Announcing your retirement when you're close to your prime is a weird decision, but it is one that Carlos was eager to make. After his loss to Demian Maia in 2016, he retired, which took the UFC media by surprise. After all, one fight prior, he was so close to defeating the welterweight champ Robbie Lawler. By this time, Carlos had already spent a solid decade in the UFC. Can you even imagine the punches he's taken in that brutal career? It's no wonder he thought it was time to call it quits. Just a year later, the natural born killer was back. He had a point to prove, and he did not look any different from when he retired. So they matched him up against Neil Magny in 2017. Let me tell you, Carlos was the fan favorite to win that one. The crowd was on his side, cheering him on. But guess what? He ended up disappointing everyone with an obvious defeat. Why stop at one when you can lose two more? Carlos went on to lose two more fights and was finally sent back into retirement in 2021 by Max Griffin. If you ask me, he would have been better off if he stayed retired. The train of failed comebacks does not end there, with the most recent fighter on my list, Henry Cejudo. When it comes to being decorated, Henry takes the cake. He's got an Olympic gold medal and a UFC championship under his belt. Talk about an impressive resume. He ended his UFC career on a high note, one that he surely didn't want to mess up. After defeating the bantamweight champ Dominic Cruz, he decided to retire, and it seemed like he had no intention of making a comeback. But you know how it goes, sometimes retirement can get a bit boring. Who can blame the guy? He was sitting on top of the world when he hung up his gloves, so he started feeling that itch to return. Through a YouTube video, Henry explained why he left and why he wanted to return. It was as simple as him being bored because he no longer had anything to look forward to. He wanted a fresh challenge, something to reignite that fire within him. So he set his sights on moving up to 145 pounds and doing something that nobody had ever done before. Way to put pressure on yourself, Henry. After three years, his first opponent was the bantamweight champion, Aljamain Sterling. This was the time to do something no one had done, or so he made it seem. Spoiler alert, he lost. Jeez. Oh, Henry, talk about setting yourself up for failure. Henry's not the only one to retire when things were going well. He is joined by the California kid, Uriah Faber. Some people just love ruining their records. Uriah retired at the age of 37, fresh off a win against veteran, Brad Pickett. He stayed on the sidelines for almost three years before deciding he wanted to join in on the action. In his first match back, he fought against a rising star, Ricky Simon. To everyone's surprise, Uriah proved that he had it in him to take brutal punches in his stride. It was an impressive victory if you ask me, but it was clear that Uriah was not the same fighter he used to be. After the fight, Uriah's hopes skyrocketed. And why wouldn't they? He was among a small list of fighters with a successful comeback. While it was clear that the Californian kid was past his prime, he managed to get a fight against another rising superstar, the closest contender to the Bantamweight title, Piotr Jan. Unsurprisingly, Uriah was not only against Piotr, but the fans too. No one thought he could one-up Piotr, and boy were they right. 
The fight was difficult to watch, and it was a miracle that Urea lasted until the third round. After being destroyed the entire fight, he was finally knocked out and has never come back to the ring since. Yikes. It's a harsh world out there, but I'm not sure what he expected as he neared 40. If you think it's bad returning to ruin your record once, just imagine doing it thrice. BJ Penn doesn't have to imagine, because he did just that. Penn's comebacks are perhaps the most embarrassing to talk about. He didn't just fail once, not twice, but thrice. Surely one punch or two must tell you that things just aren't working out right. Penn first retired in 2011, which seemed a rash decision, especially considering how good he was. So his first return was no surprise. His first fight back was against Rory McDonald, and it's safe to say Penn was destroyed. It was clear that the prodigy was past his prime, and no one was surprised when he went back into retirement. Oh, it gets so much worse. His second return was more shocking to fans than his retirement. Penn's second return fight was against an old rival, Frankie Edgar. I could not stop cringing looking at the fight. It was just sad to see Penn try and fight, especially since he was obviously past his prime. Late in the third round, Penn was knocked out, and back into retirement, he went. The first two were bad, but the third? Oh man, you guys are in for a treat. When Penn returned a third time, he suffered four consecutive losses, all against opponents he would have destroyed in his prime. Penn was eventually dropped by UFC due to legal issues, and he ended with 14 total losses, double of what he initially ended with. Penn is the best example for anyone who's considering coming back from retirement. Just don't save yourself from the embarrassment. Not everyone has terrible comebacks. Some like to spice it up by doing good initially and then messing it all up later. That was done by the one and only Misha Tate. Misha retired after a loss in 2016 and it seemed like a fitting end for her. After all, she had already reached her goal of becoming a champ. She decided to make a comeback and let me tell you, nobody saw that coming. Seriously, who thinks about coming back to UFC after having two kids? I guess you could say it was her way of getting a break from the chaos of motherhood. Can't blame her for wanting to throw a few punches instead of changing diapers, right? In early 2021, Misha made her grand return to the scene and boy did she make an entrance. With a jaw-dropping knockout, it looked like she was going to pick up right where she left off. The excitement was through the roof. It was like she never missed a beat. But hold on just a minute. Her victory party didn't last long. Soon after that epic comeback, she stepped into the octagon not once but twice and unfortunately, she lost both times. Ouch. Talk about a harsh reality check. Ever since then, Misha has been well out of the title race, which begs the question, should she really have come back? Returning from retirement seems like a terrible choice, and I definitely don't recommend it. From Misha Tate showing herself as a one-game wonder to Chuck Liddell's repeated fails, those were just some of the UFC fighters that should have stayed retired.